So I'm putting together a gaming computer for my wife, budget level. Picked up a Dell Optiplex 990, the specs on it there, i7, 180 bucks shipped off eBay, not bad at all. I'm using the same one myself, the Infinity setup with the uh, RX uh, 580. And I paid a lot more for my used one than what I got uh, this one for here. So I uh, picked up a nice gaming case. That was 70. Nice thing about the Dell stuff is it is supposed to be all pretty standard. I know the power supplies are, so pretty sure the motherboard's going to mount in there. We'll, we'll find out. I uh, picked up a power supply, $30. And then I picked this up. And what is this? This is, I think, a 660IT, $40 off of Craigslist. All in all, I'm into this for, oh, what does that come out to, 183, so about 320, just under 400 bucks. I have an SSD I'm gonna put in I had left over. Bought that a while back, I think it's 128. I'm gonna use as the main drive, and uh, I think I paid like 65 bucks for that. So just uh, right about 400 bucks, and this thing should game pretty good. It's gonna be a Fortnite machine for, should be able to do 1080p, 30 plus frames per second, no problem. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we got everything in. It's not cleaned up yet, but actually ran across another eight gigs of RAM, so we'll have 16 in it. The only weird thing I'm running into is this here. You can see it, that's the power on off connector that's proprietary, so I had to cut it and um, I just kind of stuck it in there. I'll clean that up after we make sure. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get the LEDs for the um, power button or a reset button, which the Dell doesn't have that stock anyway, so, or a hard drive light up button, which I really don't care. There'll be plenty of lights on the front with the fans. Um, I'm also, I'm running down here a USB 3.0 card that I'm able to take the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this plug here uh, is connected to the front panel for the USB 3.0, so that'll work. Um, and then down here, if you can see it back in here, I'll post a separate picture, but uh, there's a proprietary uh, plug for the front, front panel, so I'm not going to have audio as of right now on these two plugs, audio or the uh, headphones, but I can always plug it into the back, um, or if I had an audio card in, I could plug it in, or I could splice the stock connector, which is this guy, for the front panel of the Dell here, splice into that and use, um, use the stock uh, connector that goes with this motherboard from the stock case. So that's doable. I'm just not going to dig into it right now because it's not a priority. So I'm going to plug this guy in and let's see uh, if it works. All right. I got it hooked up. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's flip the power switch. I'll be ready to turn it off. Got lights. It's booting, good signs. Got the F1 to continue error. And that's because the stock fan is not connected to the case, which I think is like some kind of variable controlled fan that it requires, so. Now the hard drive that I have in there is the primary. It already has a copy of Windows on it from an old computer. I'm gonna wipe that. So I don't know what it's gonna do past this point, but it's turned on, we're getting video powered everything, all the fans are turning. So I just need to verify the USB 3.0 works in the front, or USB at all in the front. And uh, let's see what happens here. It's a good looking case though. So. All right, and it is booting up. I uh, didn't do anything else, I had just left it. Um, when I ended that last slide, so um, it came back on. So it's probably gonna come up and say it sees a whole bunch of different stuff because it's uh, that hard drive came out of a uh, HP similar to the one that it's sitting on here. So see what happens. Now at least I can test everything without reloading or trying to reload Windows, and which I will do either way. So all right, so we got it up and running.
you want to test Fortnite graphic settings are set to epic second round seems like everything's running real good so I had to cut the proprietary plug from the case for the switch and I took the case switch connector right now I just have the bare wires plugged into it so but the proprietary plug is going to be the yellow and black is the power switch so if you clip that off of your original case you can plug it in and then uh, you can just splice these two together like I said right now I just have it connected just for testing I may leave it like that and just tape it I don't know um, but in any case uh, there's probably better quality ways of doing that but so yellow and black which is your pin one and two on this uh, connector I wasn't able to get the, uh, I guess I could use the original to uh, splice into the original uh, front panel plug. There is a, a ton of wires on that now and I just don't feel like digging into it so my two uh, audio and uh, microphone plugs do not work. I could make that work if we cut it and, uh, and use that but um, as of right now the front panel ones do not work. The back obviously do because they're built right into the motherboard. And then I was able to get the USB 3.0 to work um, because I have an expansion card. I don't know if you can see that down in here. Anyways, um, so I put the expansion card in and then I was able to use the front panel plug from uh, that's on the new case here uh, for the USB 3.0, plug it into that and that works. Basically, um, power plug uh, or the power switch, it works, turn it off and on. I don't have any problems with that, so um, the button doesn't light up. Um, I'm sure if I played with it some, we could use, I'm assuming, two of these other uh, three leftover wires here from the original plug uh, to get the LED to work in the power switch, just like the original case uh, has, uh, has a light that lights up on the power switch as well. But again, uh, since you can tell if it's on with the big lights in the front, I'm just not going to worry about that right now. So, but all in all, um, it, uh, it's running this game very, very good. Which is primarily what we're building this for is my wife so she can play Fortnite without taking over our kids' computers. All right, we are all finished. So it turned out good. Got on my test screen here. So it's actually gonna go on a uh, 32 inch Vizio I have that's uh, HD 1080p high refresh rate um, not exactly a gaming computer monitor but uh, it's got a nice picture but in any case um, so this guy turned out really really nice in fact I'm a little bit jealous it's got a solid tempered glass here um, I wasn't able to use the fan in the back either um, it has just a standard fan plug power plug just comes on with the power I'm sure there's an adapter I could plug it right into one of the power supply uh, leads but um, what I ended up doing is I took it's kind of hard to see now but I took the uh, let's take this off here I took the stock Dell fan that was in the back and I just installed it right in the top these uh, rubberized plugs it's got this one is variable it's controlled by the motherboard depending on the load that's on it um, this will also get rid of one of the extra prompts that uh, you might get on boot up where it says something's not plugged in. Uh, I read online that uh, it's called the F1 something or rather, but basically if you don't have all their little proprietary things uh, plugged in, you'll get this prompt and you have to hit F1 to continue. I did see that pop up, although as soon as it popped up, it just went away and continued booting up without having to press the F1 button. So um, and that was really a non-issue. Um, and now we have an exhaust fan going. So it's got the two fans in the front stock um, and then the exhaust fan um, on the top now. And at some point I'll, I'll get the, the one in the back there working. But uh, otherwise, um, this thing turned out really good and we're just at 400 bucks. I'm gonna do a, a bench test on it, but I was playing some uh, Fortnite testing on it on Epic. No problem, looks great. No, no uh, glitching or lag or screen tear or anything. So. Uh, just to recap, we took a uh, Dell Optiplex 990, uh, took all the guts out of it. In fact, here's what's left. Uh, so anything that's left in it's the CD-ROM. Um, 
some kind of cover indicator on it to make a difference. Some of the leads, I cut off the uh, the lead right here for, um, let's see if I can get it in there. This goes to the original power button. So I use that just to basically make a, an adapter uh, so that this power button would work. And it does, it doesn't light up. Um, again, I can fix that as I discussed earlier, but uh, it's just not real important to me. Uh, so we use the Dell Optiplex. I uh, got that off eBay for um, 280 bucks shipped. Uh, that's got the i7-2600 uh, in it. Um, it came with a five, uh, 500 terabyte drive, which I'm using as a secondary right now. And I have uh, solid state I had left over. I think that ran me around 50 or 60 bucks, something like that. Um, had some extra RAM laying around as well, so I was able to get it up to 16 gig, which you don't have to, but makes it nice. Um, what else did we buy? So we bought the case, that was 70 off Amazon, and then the power supply was 30 bucks for a 500 uh, 500 watt power supply which is this guy right here so basically I purchased those three items I had the video card I got off Craigslist a while back for 40 bucks um, so like I said we're, we're right about the $400 just under range with uh, cranking computer I mean this will run pretty much anything you want on 1080 no problem at all uh, and it looks awesome in fact I'm a little bit jealous since mine still Still looks stock, but otherwise mine has the same specs except I have an 8 gig uh, RX 580 in it, so uh, running that um, three screen configuration. Anyways, um, yeah, you can do pretty good here. The Dell stuff's not bad. Um, physically, everything went in, no problem. Form factor was all fine. Like I said, it was just um, the only things that were proprietary on the Dell uh, was the, uh, the front panel and power switch plugs um, for the motherboard and I was unable to really find any kind of real pinout specs on that. Um, I was able to look at pictures and other people's little adapters they made in order to kind of piece together what to do there at the power switch. So um, that uh, if you can work around that, just a little bit of uh, finagling there and you, you can make this, this work. So uh, if you have any questions, put them in the description there. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Thanks guys. So quick update, um, I originally did this build about two months ago and uh, for Christmas uh, we upgraded the wife's video card to a uh, AMD RX 570 8 gig and um, it, it's smoking in this thing. Uh, we also upgraded her monitor uh, shortly after doing the build uh, to a 27 inch ultra wide. Um, so with the new card and in ultra wide format we're being able to get um, 90 to 100 frames per second for fortnite which is is pretty damn good uh it's pretty tough getting that card in there the um dell optiplex uh it's not exactly designed you know to be a gaming um platform it's more of a high-end office uh computer although that i7 is pretty strong um, i'm using it myself on my gaming computer um so the, you know the back plates up against the uh, the memory slots and sitting on top of the uh, the SATA plugs for the hard drives, but I was able to get it in there. It wasn't easy, but it's doable. Um, that's probably about the max size card you're going to be able to fit, not just in the case has plenty of room, but I mean on the motherboard itself because things are somewhat compact since it comes out of a, a mid tower. Uh, so just want to give you guys that update. Um, picked up the card fairly inexpensive, so um, you know, to be running a game on a wide format monitor display, um, you know, getting up to 100 frames a second um, in a build that's, you know, under 600 bucks uh, is, is pretty good. So I uh, hope you like the info. Um, if you want more information about um, the Dell Optiplex 990 uh, for gaming, uh, there's some links in the description uh, for blog site that I, that I run. It's uh, just kind of anything I'm hobbying in terms of, uh, you know, computer, computer gaming. Uh, I'll put it on there. I find uh, it's helpful to some people. Uh, if you're if you're looking at using the Dell uh, 990, um, there's a ton of good information if you're going to use that computer for gaming. So like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.